Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Real on The Real, where we give you all the tea and dirt on our favorite reality TV shows. Yes. So tonight, oh, let's do our introductions first. My name is Yuchenna. My name is IJ. And we are missing Dior. She will be back, I believe, next week. And you, we will have our trifecta once again. But we'll have a special guest, won't we, Yuchenna? Yes, next week we will have a special guest. We will not tell you who it is, but True. we'll give you a little hint. We talk about this person all the time. Yes, we do. Okay. She's very close to us. So tonight we are going to be talking about Married at First Sight, Season 12, Episode 13. Mm-hmm. And Yuchenna, we... I have to give a shout out really quick, please. Okay, yes to our eyelashes from Huda Beauty. Mm. Mm. I, beautiful all the time. Uh, all the time. I am having a little bit of issue getting this lash on, but you know, I think I think it's okay, right? Does this eye look smaller than the other? No, no, it looks fine. Okay, all right, good. Mm -hmm. Toasting? Yes, cheers. Oh, maybe she's up. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Mm. Okay, let's get into it. Yes, please. Okay, so I liked how we did it last week where we just talked about each couple mm -hmm. and didn't do it um, sequentially by how it happened on the episode because, I mean, so much happens, but we really, fo we really focus on the couples, and I think that's the best way to do it. And right, I so like how they, they got, you know, counseling, which they all need. By, I especially um, liked how... I, I think that they picked the right counselors for each couple, don't you think? Yes, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really good. And they had mm -hmm. separate counseling. Which so important. Like, yeah, yeah. I think well needed and at the right time. Because I think they only have, what, two or three weeks left? Um, right, correct. Three weeks left. Yes. So it's a crucial time for each of the couples. Right. So, and I feel like they've been together forever, but it's only been like a month and a, a month and they've only been together for five weeks. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But I feel like it's been a lifetime. Right. They probably feel like it's been a lifetime too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it started off with Eric and Virginia and they are a couple who started off strong. Super strong. They, yes, but they there are very big cracks that are becoming fissures yes. in their relationship. And mm -hmm. it's going to become cavities soon and they're gonna fall right through if they so, don't work it out. Right, so I wanna ask you, Yuchenna, what two things do you think is causing these fissures between the two of them? Um, the drinking yes, a major one. And two, her inability to understand what, I think there's three. Okay. Her inability to understand what a marriage is. she It's hard for her to give up her single life and put her marriage first. Very and much so. He, yeah, he is controlling. Yes. You know? He wants all of her time. Do um, you think he's controlling because he's at a point in, of his life where maybe he's not really controlling. Maybe it's actually normal because... He's more mature and he's point, at a point in time where it's normal for couples to be together quite a bit more than what she wants, you know, right. and yeah. maybe it's also because of his work life balance. He's gone for 15 days straight. So when he's home, he does want to be with her. He wants to be under his wife. She, he wants to be under her, her underneath him. You know, he wants to feel like he's important and she has 15 days to do whatever she wants with her friends. So the 15 days that he's there, shouldn't he be number one? I agree. I, I, and I actually didn't like the advice that Dr. Pepper gave him. I didn't like that he should ask her to have one weekend where out of the three weekends or two weekends that they have together to say, hey, can you spend time with me instead of your friends when they, she has 15 days um, to spend with her friends? I didn't like that advice at all. I think Me neither. That, yeah. And do you think that if you're in love, remember this is a new relationship. If you're in love, 
aren't you wanting to spend as much time as possible with that other person? I would think so, especially new love. Yeah. You, you want to spend 24 seven with that person. Yeah. You know? And you change your plans to be with that person. You know, that's what he wants, but that's not what she wants. So right. I think there's a difference in levels of love um, yeah. in their relationship. And that usually happens, but it's usually further on in the relationship mm -hmm. when the love balance shifts. shifts. And it's them. normal for love balance to shift. At some periods in time, you could be more in love with your spouse than he is with you. And then other periods of time, they're more in love and you're just like, oh, not, not now. Right. You know, right. it, it, it's a cycle. And, but right now it's been only four or five weeks. I feel like you should both be so in love that when he's gone, you're calling him and he's calling mm -hmm. you. But, and I also, other. yeah. And I also wonder, like Dr. Pepper said, does their blowouts happen with due to alcohol when they've both been drinking? Um, it Imagine seems that like as a factor. It. Yeah. And then remember when, um, after they both had their separate, you know, meetings and then they got together and he said that to her and she's like, I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm not going to talk about that. She doesn't want to talk any about anything that has to do with her not drinking. She wants to drink. That's it. I know, but she's, I, she's, that girl has had, they need to get down to her trauma. Something Maybe there's no it. trauma. Someone, people always think, oh, trauma, trauma, trauma. Maybe she just wants to drink. You know, maybe that's what it is. But it's self-medication. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. No, yeah, okay, I think so it's self-medication, Yuchenna, right? Like she's self-medicating and without it, reality just smacks her in the face. Plus the withdrawal yeah. symptoms too. You know, <laughs> when you're jonesing for a drink, you're probably like, yeah. you know what? thinking about it constantly in her head, you know, right. thinking about, and maybe that's why she likes hanging out with her friends, but then her friends, I mean. They don't drink as much as she does. No, they don't. I don't know. I think, uh, yeah. I think she needs to go to therapy. Like her, when she got with the girls and they all suggested that she do that. I think that's vital. I think she does. I think I she definitely needs you. to do that. I think he needs to go to therapy <coughs> too. So that he learns that not all of them Oops. <laughs> Oops. My my home um ring light <laughs> went down. Um I moved my I'm sorry you guys. I moved my camera. I moved my camera and um my my apologies everyone. My apologies. Um but like we were saying, he needs to realize that she has fundamental issues. She has anxiety issues and he should, he needs to take into account her psychological thinking, where she doesn't have really that much self-confidence. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. And the fact that he said, I think you'd make a good mother, made her feel really good. She For should know. Second. Then she was like, mm, I still don't want any kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wonder feel... why she doesn't want, she did talk about her past a little bit. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It's, I think they, they have a lot to work through. And honestly, I, I personally, like at this point in time, he is ready for a serious relationship. He's ready for somebody that's down for him, wants to be with him, is accepting of his absence due to traveling, wants to have kids, willing to raise the, that kid um, without him being there half the time. Mm. He's seriously- He's not capable of that. She's not. No. You don't think and she can take care of a child. He needs to realize that. You don't think she could take care of a child. You cannot take care of a child drinking like that. No. Mm -mm. And no. not with her anxiety issues. And not with going but, out with friends, putting her friend. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that this this relationship is not going to cut it. And I think yeah. for both of them, I think it's, especially for him, I think it's best that they just like cut it, add some decision time and go their separate ways. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go to the next couple. So I really like them. I do, but they're they're just it's not good for them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's really not. Mm -hmm. You know, they have great chemistry together and they care about each other, but they're not in the same place in life. Right. They're not. They're not. 
maybe yeah. in five years she she might be just be a drunk by then probably if she's going to continue the way that she's going yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah. let's move on to the next couple on to the next we mm -hmm. have ryan and sex craze clara no, no, she kidding. really <laughs> sex <laughs> she's not sex craze she's just affection craze she wants so i should say validation craze she wants right. that validation from him and he's not he's not ready to give it to him and why well i don't know it's just not something that's on the you know forefront like i don't even think it's registering to, for him that it's an issue mm -hmm. for her which is shocking because it for us it seems like that's all she talks about but maybe she doesn't talk about it with him did she i want to bring up a point to you Chenna. i didn't know if you noticed it when um pastor um cal was talking to her did you notice that she never brought up the fact that she was unhappy about their sex life well yeah until he forced it out of her right well, you know what? Um, who was it? Oh, Dr. Pepper, because he did the same thing. Ryan did the same thing. He didn't say, she said, so how is everything going on in your relationship? And Ryan was like, oh, it's great. Nothing's wrong. And she's like, really? Nothing's wrong? She's like, no, nothing's wrong. And then she was like, you know, I think there is something wrong. And Dr. Pepper was like, you know, people don't like to admit when something is wrong with the relationship. And they're both doing the same thing. Why do you think, why do you think they didn't want to admit it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I think that they didn't want the world to know that they had issues. No, I don't think they, they don't want the, the doctors. doctors, cause we know that's all she talks about. But they should know that if everything's being taped and they're in confessionals, the doctors are going to see those too. Yeah, but I was but I was happy how they let them express it. And then 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 they began to Dr. Cal began to talk to her about it and so forth. I really appreciated that. And I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but it, it was interesting that um, Clara said that he in his other relationships, sex took a very long time, too. So it's not six just months her. to a couple of years. Yeah, I was like. That just goes back to push me that is he gay? I don't know. Or don't or so. does he think that or is he so embedded into the church that he does not feel that this is a long lasting relationship yeah. and that's yeah. why he's not going to have that marriage with her that it's going to break up and he doesn't want to commit with that with having sex. And then also I wonder the fact that she doesn't want to raise kids in church and wants to let the kids make their own decision. And he is grounded into. Um, what is it? Um, who's talking in the background? Okay, is that better? Yeah. I think I had a TV on. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to edit that out. All this has. You have to edit this. I know. It's mom and add it. I know. I know. A door. Oh, oh, I I yeah, you guys are talking. Can you guys go to the other room, please? We can okay. still hear you guys. Yeah, you guys need to go to mom's room. See, now please. I gotta sit here and edit this crap out. Yeah. All right. So let's get and action. So I, I do you think that the fact that he um, is so grounded in church and wants to raise his kids in church, whether they want to be raised in church or not. And she's just like, well, you know, they can be in any religion and, you know, they don't have to go to church. They can pick whatever religion. I think that's a major issue for him. Yeah, that's definitely a major issue for him. And um, she's going to cave in and follow his lead on that for sure. Especially, if I, she, yeah, especially if she doesn't care, she's going to let him, you know, be the person who you know leads on religion and church and all that yeah. other stuff and they you know i feel like they do have a connection i do oh, yeah they 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 said that they picked the perfect person for them you know yeah. and you, two people don't have to believe Agreed. in the same relationship for the religion for the relationship to work it's right. not a must 
I like the fact that even when they were disagreeing and talking, the camera zoomed in on their hands and they were still touching each other and holding. I think that they have a strong relationship. I do. And I think that as long as she can get over the sex part, I think that they will. Mm -hmm. And he needs to, he needs to get over it too. Yeah. Like is he afraid his church, does he think his church people are going to see it? I don't know. No, that comes to fact. They don't talk about his church family. If he's so into church, we maybe don't. They're just not showing it. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just, maybe it's just not interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so <laughs> well, let's move on to <laughs> Paige and Chris. That was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Paige, Paige's theme was okay. I think she came to the realization that she played herself. Mm-hmm. And- but you know what? You know what? You kind of can't blame her. She was so, and she she admitted it. She was into, she was in love with the thought of being married. And that's what drove her to be so giving, to be that ride or die chick. I mean, like, Paige is not a bad look. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful dark-skinned girl. I mean, and she's attractive. Like, let's not, attra- let's keep it real. She's attractive. Let's not say she's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have to keep it real. We're real on the real. She right? is attractive. She's pretty. She's, she's beautiful. beautiful. She's beautiful. She's not beautiful. I, listen, let's keep it real. Oh my goodness. To she, me, she's, to me, no, she's I beautiful. No, I she's, I see you're lying. She's beautiful. I see you were man. talking about when we first started, you talk about how. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to, um. You don't know how video. cross-eyed she was. <laughs> but her cross-eyedness is gone. Her cross-eyedness is gone. You listen, don't even know she's let's let's keep it real. She's attractive. And that's she is attractive. And she has a beautiful shape. She has a nice shape. She doesn't have a beautiful shape. She has a right. nice shape. And her the color stomach. red looks really beautiful on her. Yes, she has a nice shape, a very nice shape. Let's not she, like she is way let's better not than he up her is. to the max. I know. When I it liked her host. I up. liked her host session. She yeah. was on it. I felt that like she was honest during her talk. I can appreciate mm-hmm. that and honor that. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that he, on he the doing? other hand. Bye, Adora. Bye, Kalechi. Do you feel better, Adora? Was your stomach hurting? Oh, you're just tired? I left at the last event. I've been sitting in the parking lot for an hour. Waiting for them? Yes. The meet was the one town away. Uh, A 10 minute drive. Uh, Why are they staying so thin this time? You can take that, um, what do you call it? Cereal. Oh, there's, there's, um, hot pockets down there. They don't- you see, you look alive. So maybe they're just not showing it because it's not interesting, but you know, they don't show that much outside of the relationship. Right. I, I would like it if they did show more, mm-hmm. just so that we can get a clearer view of their life. It would be interesting to see how does a church family feel about her? Is she going to church? Is she not going to church? Mm-hmm. You know, especially since church plays such an intricate role in what he wants to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like you know, Nana did say, um, their sex life plays a major role, and like you said, her her need for validation through affection and so forth. But you know, it was interesting that she said that. She's okay with him not saying I love you because mm-hmm. she said that he doesn't say it. He's right. never said it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we bounce back to um uh Clara and um Ryan, but we were talking about Paige. Um yeah. right now they're not that interesting. Yeah, but Chris- I did want to say one other thing though, Yuchenna. Mm-hmm. I am happy that she did go ahead and get her roots colored because they were just Hideous. <laughs> so she either has to do the whole rooting or color them up. 
because what she had before was was not good. Right. And I don't know how she would look not being a blonde because I'm so used to seeing her as a blonde. I would love to see just to see. Sorry, people. We just we're talking about something we shouldn't be. But OK. Yeah. So um, Chris was a complete asshole when he met with um, Pastor Kyle. It was like he was purposely trying to be an asshole. Right. Don't you feel like they should have just kicked him off the show and been like, no. Don't you feel that way? Yeah, because he was, it was like he was acting. Yeah, like he was doing it on purpose. Well, uh, yeah. what was the glass I say? What were we talking about? Chris, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just don't understand why he was acting like that. I feel like he should have just been kicked off the show. They shouldn't have even aired him because. I, I, I think that they should have just kicked them both off the show once they established that they, they were no longer in the relationship. I don't know why we need to keep on seeing both of them. I think their storyline is done and we don't need to see them. And then she was saying that she wants them to see each other again at the decision um, episode because she wants to find out why. Why he, did... why he brought her to meet the baby mama. I don't think that's, that's necessary. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's gonna bring up pain to page I don't think so. Him. I think she just wants to be on TV again. Oh, really? Yeah. Why else would she care? It's over with. Like, it let it go with. and move on with your life. I think she wants to continue being on the show. The show owes her. Maybe they'll yeah. have her be on next season. Maybe hoping he will change his mind. And yeah. No, she's. Yeah, so I think that I think it's over for them and let's just not waste any more time on Chris and Paige and let's move on to the next couple. Yes. So you said you thought that they would eventually give her another try. You think she would be willing to do that? Would you be willing yes. to do that? I wouldn't, but I think she would. I think she wants more camera time. I, I think that she just wants to be in love and have and be married and have a man that loves her. As much as you love your hair right now, because it's looking fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, so next couple is Brianna and Vincent. I'm, I'm little... happy they finally found something that they don't agree with. My goodness. Yeah, but I was a little perturbed with her. Me too. With, with the whole baby thing, right? Like, yes. It's painful. I was like, girl, what? That's your reason for not wanting to have a baby? And how do you know, girl? You never had a baby. Right. It's like, I don't know. And then the whole, like, her wanting him to wake up early and mm -hmm. her not, you know, compromising. She was like, well, you can go to bed early and wake up early. And he was like, where's the, comp where's the compromising? She's like, well, you can go to bed early and wake up early. I don't know. I like. I think that's all TV. You think just so? Like her, yes, just like her baby voice. Because, girl, you is not that cute. <laughs> yeah. It was not, you know. I think it's all TV. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I can't stand that baby voice. But, I mean, I love them as a couple. I want them to be successful as a yes, couple. Yes, me too. I mean, I am here for them. Yes. But yes. I, you were talking about the wake up and not compromising. I'm talking about finances. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, we got to save. We got to start thinking about the future, our mm -hmm. plans. You know, stop eating out all the time. We got a pool table. We got drinks here. We can have a night in. We don't need to be going out all the time eating out. And she did compromise. She did. She said, yeah, you're right. We can go on walks. We can go hiking. We don't have to have $200 meals. Two people, $200 meals? I mean, that's a lot. Where are you eating at? And what are you eating? It's drinks, probably. It's drinks. Yes, girl, you it's drinks. It's drinks. You need to take a sandwich bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not a sandwich bag, but you, but you need to go to walmart <laughs> buy you some um frenzia wine that comes oh out in a bag or box wine that comes in a bag take it with you on your date and pour a little bit of that stuff into your wine glass after you order one glass of wine from them that's what you need to do versus 
spending 30 to 40 dollars on alcohol that doesn't make any sense Mm-mm. no, no and i don't know if that's what they do or not i'm just saying but for 200 dollars meals maybe do they live in an expensive area like we live in affluent areas mm-hmm. but still and 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 we you know two hundred dollars for two people for dinner that's that's a lot and we and up where we live is drinks are 13 to 15 dollars per per drink and i'm thinking to myself and um for three four people it's about it's about two hundred dollars for two yeah three people so i don't i don't know what they're maybe she was exaggerating hopefully yeah, because I'm thinking to myself, when my husband and I go out to eat, we always order the best steaks, the best wines, mm-hmm. but I only get one glass. He doesn't mm-hmm. drink wine. He might order a beer, mm-hmm. but it's still maybe $150, $60. And, that's, and if it comes to that, he's just like, damn, IJ. That's only once in a while. So I don't know what they what they do. But then you know what? To her, to her credit, it's only been five weeks and she still wants it to feel like they're dating. And I don't right. blame no, her I agree. for that part. Right. Yeah. But I think the baby is thing is the biggest issue. And she needs to come better than being afraid of pain and her body changing as a reason for not wanting to have a baby. She does have a nice shape. Well, she, she, does. Needs to, she does have a great shape, but she needs yeah. to exercise afterwards and not yeah. eat crazily. And she'll still and, have that shape. Right. She and maybe it's it. a career thing for her too, you Chen. She did not say that. that. That was not one of the reasons. And you can still have a career after when you have kids. Oh, not- I know. I know. I have three and I'm a six figure bitch. So, you know. <laughs> right. So that doesn't, I mean, her reasoning should have been better. Right, you know, and he was. What do you think he is with all these young people not wanting to have kids? I don't know, and he should have spoken up for himself. He was silent. He didn't say anything. He should have spoken up for himself and say, "Listen, I hear you, but having a baby is utmost important for me, and we get no. We need to work through this issue together because I want a baby, and I don't want to wait a long time." So right. I'm in, I'm in totally something. agreement with you. Mm-hmm. I'm in totally agreement with you. But I think at, at decision day, they will stay together, but they will have work to do afterwards. They definitely will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder what their life is like when the camera's off, right? Yeah. I think they'll have a good life. I think, uh, I do think so. And hopefully they'll, they'll stay together mm-hmm. I'm for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the other couple, I'm seriously rooting for. I, I know love them. he looks handsome, right? Yes. I was like, oh my god, look at Haley and Jacob. Jacob looking dapper. I know, yeah. I know. I and he's so cute because, like, when he's feeling himself, you can kind of tell a little you can bit. Tell. Right? He makes that face, you mm-hmm. know. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think that. That talk that they had with Pepper and Dr. Cal, um, Pastor Cal, was long needed for each of them. It kind of woke them both up. It shook them awake Mm -hmm. and realized, okay, if we really want this to work, we got to do the work. You know, we got to make this work and put, you know, 110%, you know, Mm -hmm. because I think, you know, I, I just hope it works. You know, he, Jacob really needs to put the work in. He, he needs to give more of himself, talk more, be more engaged. Present, be present. Be present, yes. Jacob, listen to our words. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the words that are coming out of our mouths? Talk, engage, react. Right. And when you do talk, Make sure it makes sense and it flows with the conversation. And it's interesting. Yes. yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yes, I totally agree with you. And I hope it's not just for the camera. I hope it, that no. when they're off camera, mm-hmm. that they're just still as engaged. And I think she's slowly starting to feel him. Well, I mean, I think she will. It seemed like in the pre in the previous for next episode, she does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, they're the I I like them the best. Out I don't of know all why. the couples. 
Yeah, I do because I like him and his awkwardness. And Even better than Vincent and Brianna? Yeah, because he wants this relationship so bad. Because yeah. what man? I can't imagine if I told my husband, I don't want to have sex with you because you're kind of disgusting. She didn't say that. Well, she might as well have said because she wouldn't even hug him. And he's like, you even hug strangers. I know. So he must really want this. Or maybe his autism or his Asperger's doesn't really let him understand the gravity of how uninterested she is physically in him. Mm-hmm. So I, that's why I really want them to work out because it seems to me that he really wants this relationship. Oh yeah, I would agree. I think he really wants, I think she really wants it. I think she wants to be in a relationship, you know? Um, and I think that she's willing to try again. And um, I think she has been trying, but Dr. Pepper did point out that everything that they've been doing has been stuff that she's wanted to do. You know, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Because the stuff that he wants to do, I, I don't know if it would be interesting. I don't did know. He say, did he say what he wanted to do? Yeah, but he wanted to go to the batting cages. Um, okay, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be bad. Twice. Yeah, um, I've never been, but um, I've never been either. Yeah, Anything but else. That's- um, I think that's it, but on the previews, it looks like they go putt-putting, which is always a good time. Um, and it seems like they, they're talking, engaging, they seem like they're getting along, um, they're staring into each other's eyes a little bit. That, they just trick us with that crap. I know, they do. Ooh. They do. I know. And then it looked like they got into a little bit of an argument. Hopefully that's a trick, too. So. Sometimes I'm watching the show. I try to listen for the music because that kind of tells you like where it's going. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. And so that's yeah, good. I do want them to work out because I don't want him to feel sad. I know. He seems like he's lonely. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I want them to work out really badly. So let's yeah. keep our fingers crossed for both of them. Keep our fingers yeah. crossed for Brianna and Vincent and um, for all of them really. So right. we'll just... We'll see how it goes. An AA for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For a little Miss Sunshine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, this was a good episode. Love the doctors and Pastor Cow. They should come on every week. I think the couples need them more than just every, you know, three weeks. They need more. I totally sure. agree. I totally agree. Even if it's not in person and it's just a Zoom conference mm-hmm. or a go-to meeting, preferably not go-to meeting because that's not very easy to use, but preferably <laughs> Zoom, that, that would help them tremendously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Well, well, people, yes. it has been real. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys next week when we talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta and hopefully Married to Medicine, if it is interesting. Yeah. We will let you know. So, And we will see if um, our girl is back with us, Dior, mm-hmm. and our special guest who's sitting who's here with you. Be? Who's it gonna, you have to check us out next week. Right. See As you guys can tell, I'm not at home, but we about to find out where I'm at next mm. week. Let's see. Yeah. All right, guys, please. If you want to see more of us, if you want us to do something different, you know, talk about a different show. If there's shows that you guys think that we would like to um, recap, or if there's um, subjects that you guys want us to talk about more, hit us up on the comments. Yes. Subscribe, like our videos, and Click on the notification so you can know when we're coming on next. Yes. We enjoy talking with you guys. Hope you guys love this episode. And we will see you guys next week. Yes, we will. And I will have a new hairstyle. Oh. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye.